across the world. The chlor alkali industry is upbeat, growing rapidly, fueled by rising demand from emerging markets. Currently, the Asia Pacific region comprises the largest market. The industry supplies a wide range of chemicals to various other manufacturing industries. Such chemicals include caustic soda lye or flakes, liquid chlorine, and hydrogen. Significantly, this industry is a large consumer of electricity as a form of fuel and as a raw material. The share of India's chlor alkali sector is around 4% of the global capacity. Unlike its global counterparts, the Indian chlor alkali sector is ahead of many countries in phasing out mercury cell and adopting the state-of-the-art energy-efficient membrane technology. This is the story of the sector's journey towards energy efficiency. In 2008, the National Action Plan on Climate Change established eight national missions representing a long-term, multi-pronged strategic approach to mitigating the impact of climate change. One of these missions is the National Mission for Enhanced Energy Efficiency, which seeks to promote innovative policy financing mechanisms and business models that create and sustain energy efficiency with clearly defined milestones to be achieved within a time-bound framework. The implementation plan for this mission was drawn up by the Ministry of Power and the Bureau of Energy Efficiency. In accordance with this plan, a market-based mechanism known as PERFORM, ACHIEVE and TRADE or PAT was launched to improve energy efficiency across large energy-intensive industries. The objective of the PAT scheme was to reduce specific energy consumption and to develop a methodology for quantifying energy savings. The mechanism would enable companies to trade these savings as energy saving certificates or E-certs. The PAT scheme is backed by an implementation plan spanning a series of cycles each cycle being three years. Till now, five cycles have been rolled out covering 956 industrial units across 13 sectors. Aluminium, Cement, Chlor Alkali, Fertilizer, Iron and Steel, Paper and Pulp, Thermal Power Plant, Textile, Discom, Railways, Petroleum Refinery, Commercial Buildings, Hotel and Petrochemicals. The chlor alkali sector in India presents diverse challenges. In terms of energy efficiency, the caustic soda industry in India is around 65 years old and when the PAT scheme was implemented, most of their processes did not meet the current standards of efficiency. The scheme has helped the sector in adoption of most energy efficient zero gap membrane technology, thus reducing the energy consumption by 16% approximately. The chlor alkali sector performed admirably during the PAT1 cycle. The sector's energy consumption was reduced significantly. Moreover, the Indian chlor alkali industry is ahead of many countries in phasing out mercury cells, introducing electrolyzers and green membrane technology. During PAT1 cycle, in fact, we have seen improvement in the energy optimization for our caustic chlorine plant by an amount of almost 9 megawatt hour power saving, which actually has resulted after the audit equivalent to 8520 e-certificates, which is a very, very huge energy saving for this caustic chlorine plant. During this process, we replace our second generation cell to fifth generation cell. We optimize our VFD operation and during this process, we achieve all beyond the target. We have converted from diode type rectifier to thyristor based rectifier. By this, not only the efficiency of the rectification has improved from 94% to 97%, but also the availability of the equipment to the plant is so high that the reliability of the running of the plant has improved vastly. We have also gone in with an injection pressure turbine in our 2 into 25 megawatt thermal power plant by which 
the generation of our energy has gone up from 50 to 58.27 megawatts. Apart from this, we have also gone in for vapor absorption chilling missions by which the energy saving is again effected. The success of the PAT scheme in the chlor alkali sector is underlined by the fact that DCs have saved 0.093 million tons of oil equivalent and 0.21 million tons of coal. Overall, this amounts to savings worth 0.62 billion rupees on reported investments of 3.94 billion rupees. And that speaks for itself. <laughs>